So as a grade level, there we are. We then broke the data down into monolingual and dual language. So the next two slides you will see, um, here we have the star data for Gen Ed. And it's pretty similar if you take a look at the BAS data. So there's a pretty high correlation between that BAS data and STAR for reading. If you click on the image, it should throw you directly into this report so you can see the rundown of your students. We work with teams and individual teachers to help teachers meet student-centered goals. So we're all about the students and helping them grow. And we do that through a number of different ways. Um, the majority of our time is spent in coaching cycles. And so these coaching cycles last four to six weeks long. And the beginning of the cycle, we set a student-centered goal that's aligned with the standards. And that's also aligned with the curriculum and whatever unit or module that they happen to be working in. We center around student needs, but we also are very intentional with our goals and where we want to want the students to go. And every single time we are successful with those those goals. So it is such a valuable support for, for teachers and for students. Um, doing the backwards mapping, we really create a picture of the end and where we are going and we look at data, but we look at specific students too and we target every single student universally first, and if need be, in a small group to take them where they need to be and to collaborate collectively to push our students to their maximum potential. The next um, slide is the anchor standards, and these are like the nitty gritty, and I gave you a copy of these just so that we have them ready at hand when we start working on are at what standards we're going to be targeting because we have to choose standards that are from these anchor standards. And the anchor standards are focused on reading informational text, author's main purpose, images, and identify the two most important points in two texts of the same topic. How does your job fit into the district's commitment of retaining teachers? Putting myself back in, that, in those times of when I was a teacher, and not having any support systems and how frustrating and difficult it was. And I can totally see why teachers might be leaving the profession because it is a lot of responsibility that we have with our learners, right? There's a lot of needs that our learners come with. And so having this support of coaching in buildings really helps teachers feel the support especially let's say with a new teacher, that new scariness of coming into the classroom, seeing all these faces and the load of curriculum and the load of SEL and, and so many things that are in their plates. Being that partner to them helps them build their own capacity too and say, you know, here's all these things that I have to do in a day, in a week, in a quarter. Um, but helping plan with them and go through the process with them, we hope that they, you know, take more ownership of the coaching cycle. They take, they are empowered in, in their own classrooms and they're feeling like, yeah, I can do this. How do you facilitate the individual professional growth of teachers? Teachers come to us and they say, you know, this, can you help me with this? This area that I really want to grow in, I'm having a hard time, or, you know, I really don't understand this curriculum. How am I going to uh, apply this in this setting? Can you support me with that? Can you look at these students? And through all of that process and that, all that collaboration, there's so much growth to be had. At the end of each co coaching cycle as well, we do an exit interview. We do a reflection. We sit down and have a reflection conversation with the teachers. And it's awesome because we take a look at that data and we can say, wow, look how much students grew during this, during this partnership that we were together. But we also reflect on some of those instructional strategies that we use and we say, what, what strategies got us there? What strategies helped these students? And what are some new strategies that we learned? Um, what are some new co-teaching methods or, um, that we use during the cycle? And so we have an opportunity to sit down and say what worked, um, what do we want to try next time? And you know, for those, for those things that didn't go as well, what can we do next time to improve? So it's constantly always talking about continuous improvement and, and reflecting on what we did and seeing how we grew, both mm -hmm. students and teachers and coaches, as you mm -hmm. said. Mm -hmm.